fight! Hey guys, this is Versata from VST Power Now, Holson Project Phoenix Media. We got a really great tutorial today using the mini tool Partition Wizard Free Edition. I'm going to show you how you can take a hard drive or a partition and convert it from NTFS to FAT32 file system format. The reason you may want to do this is let's say, for example, you have an external hard drive, you want to use it with your game console like a Nintendo Wii or a PS3, PS4. Xbox One or whatever and they require your external drive device to be FAT32 file system But if you have NTFS, maybe you don't want to format it. you maybe you don't want to lose your data How can you retain your data during the conversion and this program can actually do that and it's pretty cool So let me show you how this works if you go to the more info section There'll be a link to the mini tool.com website once you're here click on the download Download the installer and install it once you're done. It's going to create a shortcut on your desktop so let's go ahead run the shortcut it's gonna look like this click on this button over here and then it's gonna pop up into the main program itself so if I go into Windows Explorer just for kicks here what I have is I have a test hard drive 232 gigabytes free if I double click in here I have a folder with just some wallpapers I have in here so what I'm gonna do if I go back and I'm gonna right click go to properties we can confirm that yes the file system is NTFS and what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert it to FAT32 and show you guys that, yes, my data is still retained. So let's do this. So here in the main program, if I click on my hard drive that I want to convert here, it could be a hard drive. It could be a partition. Um, in my case, I'm going to do the entire hard drive. Now on here on the left-hand side, there's a little button called Convert NTFS to FAT. So let's go ahead, click on that. And then we see that this becomes a uh, operations that's pending. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this apply check mark here. Apply pending changes. Da, 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 da. Yes, I am. Click on yes. And now it's going to go ahead and do its process. So what do you do in cases where, let's say you have a file that's larger than 4 gigabytes that's on your NTFS file system and you convert it to FAT32. What's going to happen is your file is going to be, uh, in Windows, going to be quote unquote an unknown file so if you want to regain that file again then probably what you want to do is either keep it onto keep it on an NTFS hard drive partition or maybe consider converting your drive back from FAT32 to NTFS if that particular file is important to you just just saying and putting it out there so we see that it's doing its process of conversion it's 80 percent um not really sure how much longer it's going to take before we get to 100 percent so let's hang in tight here I might edit the the footage a little bit here, but let's see. All right, so we are done. So now we see that here in the main program is, is considered as FAT32. Let's go back to my Winners Explorer. If I go here, right click on my hard drive now, go to Properties, we see that the file system is indeed FAT32. And now if I double click, we see that I still have my wallpaper folder. Everything is still here. Nothing's deleted or formatted, and we're good to go. So that is today's video tutorial you guys have any nitpicky questions leave a comment here on the youtube page i'll get back to you as soon as possible once again thank you for watching take care bye